Hey what's up guys, Mike Log here. So in this video I'm going to go over some web typography best practices uh, when designing websites. So if you've ever uh, were interested in a simple crash course, some simple you know practical advice on dealing with web type um, when designing websites, uh, this video should be pretty helpful. Um, so here we are in Adobe Fireworks and what I've done here, I've just mocked up a simple web page or web template and what I've done this for is just so I can number areas on this page and just show you some examples on how to deal with type on these different areas and generally speaking the number one area here you always see type on the logo number two uh, the second section uh, is your navigation bar you always deal with type um, on the navigation tabs and number three, this is the billboard section. This is where every website has a section sort of like this, depending on how it's designed. You always have some sort of hero image here and some body co or some, some billboard copy here, which is your main marketing message, and maybe some sub some subtext right there. Uh, number four section, this is your body section. There's always copy in the body section. And uh, five, your footer, your footer links. All right, and on the sub page I created here, you'll have always deal with copy on the the title bar, and um, you know just simple your your copy in your sub page, something like this that you might see on a blog or whatever. All right, so we're just going to go over those sections and just going to give you some practical advice when dealing with typography in these areas. All right, let me get rid of the numbers here. So generally speaking, the logo, this is the area where I think it's an exception where you don't really have to follow the rules that I'll be talking about for all these other areas, um, which are, are, are to keep these areas very simple and, and deal and just stick with the two typefaces, which is Arial and Georgia. Okay, the logo can be different. The logo can be creative. So if you um, uh, say you created a logo that looks like this it looks like a sort of like a, a cool design it's fine because when you look at you know companies like Target they just have a logo here or a company like Apple they just use the you know the Apple icon it's okay to to have um, to be sort of iconic in your logo alright and um, but in this video I'm not going to really go over some of the logo best practices I've, I've created another video for that which where I do talk about keeping your type your logo typography sort of simple and clean and just stick with simple simple stuff I do believe that but if you had to go with something creative like that hey it's totally fine alright so moving over to all these other areas um, best practice simple um, what I like to do is keep these areas very simple and clean and stick with two type typefaces and that's Arial or Georgia okay generally I like to stick with Arial and this is what you see here uh, this font here is Arial regular 14 and you can also use Georgia which is a very popular font it's probably more popular in a lot of websites than uh, than Arial and um, Georgia is very easy to read it's what you would see in like Mac in news uh, paper um, articles and things like that um, sort of like Times Roman um, but Georgia and Arial and why I picked those two typefaces is because generally speaking those two typefaces are are available on any Mac or PC okay so you never have s trouble with someone um, reading those two fonts or bringing those or reading those fonts from your website um, and you'll never have to use uh, web fonts uh, when you use these two typefaces okay so remember that Arial and Georgia and that goes for any section like this also like uh, in your billboard section you can go with something like Georgia okay and um, you can also you want to use contrast so you might want to bold your title and you'll have your your subtext here regular unbold okay this particular example this text here text size is 33 um, that's Georgia bold 33 and this would be Georgia regular 16 okay and also when dealing with um, your navigation bar or 
um, let's just stick with your navigation bar for now. When dealing with your navigation bar, you can also go with um, uh, the way I've written this out where you see the fonts uh, or the, the letter capitalized, the H capitalized here, and the rest lowercase. Um, you can go with something like that, obviously, which is the standard, or you can go with something that's um, where you uh, capitalize the entire word. Okay? And the general rule of thumb is if you have a single word on its own, it's generally safe to capitalize that entire word. It's, it's totally up to you. But when you have a, a full on sentence like this, capitalizing that entire sentence, you want to be careful because it it can be hard to read. So it actually looks clean from a design standpoint, but um, looking at this copy, uh, and it's, 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 it becomes hard to read. And I'll give an example of that. I found this website here. This is a very cool, clean website. But what happened is, you see all the, the type here? The typography is all capitalized. And what happened is, it all the letters begin to run into each other, and you don't really know it really makes makes everything on this page hard to read. It just looks like it's all blurred together, and that's because it's not enough contrast uh, in between in between uh, letters. Okay, but generally speaking, when you have letters like this, like your navigation tabs and stuff like that, when it's just single words, it's okay to capitalize that because that's it's very simple to to read that when it's just one word. All right. So um, again, uh, stick with Arial or Georgia for your fonts here. And um, also, a good general rule of thumb is to make sure you have space around your web, web type. So in this particular area, you see I have a lot of space called white space or whatever around your text. Um, that makes it also easier to read if you have everything pushed together it makes it harder to read. All right, so have space around your copy, but not too much text. Too much text, then it looks messed up on your website. So be careful there. All right, also body copy. Um, headers um, can be bold, capitalized if you want. If it's a short sentence, I'd say it's OK to capitalize everything. But be careful. I would say just go with something. Um, that's not all caps but capitalizing the first sentence or first letter alright so in this particular case um, my header here is Arial Bold 20 and my copy here is Arial Regular 14 okay another rule, general rule of thumb is to keep your body copy at around 14 pixels or 13 pixels again that could be Arial or Georgia okay Another thing I want to mention is also uh, I've seen this sometimes where um, someone might have script in their navigation bar or script here. Okay, don't do that. Never use the script typeface uh, for your navigation titles or your headers or a big message or something like that. You can all you can go with the script typeface for your logo if you want that's fine that's because that logo can be creative that's the only exception here but not for your other areas don't use any script typefaces for that just stick with Arial or Georgia alrighty again for your nav for your footer here uh, it's okay to um, well w what I would recommend here is going with something like Arial um, a 12 pixel um, in size and um, generally um, I like to make this uh, keep this lighter so this is Arial regular 12 and the color here is just an, a light gray alright and uh, that's what I generally use for my footers alright so moving over to the sub page uh, your title bar because it's a single word again it could be this is Arial 33 regular um, if you wanted to make that all caps that's totally fine because it's it's a single word and um, single words are generally easy to read on its own so having all caps there is is, is totally fine and again that can be Arial or Georgia alrighty so remember that and then your body copy 
um, generally speaking your copy um, a nice rule of thumb is you don't want your body copy to be too long so you generally want to break it up so for example you see how I broke it up with this image here and I given it some space in between here here and top and the bottom and that makes your copy easy to read if you didn't have this image let's say you didn't have this image and you had your copy starting way over here and you had your body copy going across the page like this generally this makes everything hard to read because generally when someone's reading your website they have to read all across this page and come all the way back read all the way across and this generally makes your web copy hard to read so what you want to do is you want to try to break it up into different uh, into different sizes so by having some sort of column here you know find something to put here and then uh, you know and just so you can make your copy your main copy sort of small generally this is about let me just look at the size here this is about 500 pixels you know general rule of thumb stick to about 500 five to 600 pixels no more than that all right in your in your uh, in the length of your text also here you see my copy here is capitalized that's because this uh, uh, the sentence is really short again if you have a short sentence it's okay to capitalize your your text and uh, the size here is bold 26 uh, Arial again you can go with something like a Georgia font here which is okay and also your body copy um, this is Arial 14 you always want to stick with around 14 pixels 14 to 13 pixels for your body copy all right and that can be Arial or Georgia and the line height for my this particular copy is is I don't really know I don't really I can't really see the line height on in uh, Adobe Fireworks here but um, you want your line height to, to be sort of spaced out but not too spacey so you don't want it to look like that but you want it to you know be sort of spaced out to where it's not so cramped let me just see if you look at that let me uh, squeeze that in together see if it's too tight like this um, it also doesn't look as clean so you want to make sure when you're when you're laying out your text in HTML you want to space out your line height just a bit alright so that you make things easier to read and also you want to, want to do is you want to give space around your copy alrighty so those are just some tips when uh, dealing with web typography. I know I didn't go over everything, but uh, if you're just now getting started in web design, um, if you just follow the rules that I've just laid out in this video, um, the worst thing that can happen is you design a site that looks really simple. And believe me, being simple is okay. Um, I believe for most of all my websites that I've done, <coughs> excuse me, um, I've used the same techniques I've used Arial or Georgia for all of my websites and the pretty much the sizes that I've, I've discussed here um, so sticking with those sizes should be helpful um, and um, hope you learned a little bit from this video and uh, you can use these for your next project or some of the techniques here alright so if you have any questions shoot me an email mlock at mlwebco.com and uh, we'll talk soon alright